Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. He's the Son of God. He is fully indwelt by the Father. Jesus Christ is God. He has always been and He always will be. He said, before Abraham was, I am. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. Jesus Christ is our Creator. Jesus Christ was the Word. Jesus Christ in the beginning was the Word with God. Jesus Christ was the Word and was God. He was God. He was with God. He is one with His Father. John 1, 1 through 3. John 20, 28. Thomas calls Him, My Lord and my God. In Titus 2, 13, we wait for the blessed hope of the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 1, 1. Simon Peter, servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who, through the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, have received a faith as precious as ours. Hebrews 1, 8. But about the Son, he says, your throne, O God, endures forever and ever, and justice is the scepter of your kingdom. John 5, 22. Furthermore, the Father judges no one, but has assigned all judgment to the Son. John John 14, 8 through 11, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I've been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Jesus is in the Father and the Father is in Jesus. He was the Word in the beginning with the Father. Through Him all things were made, and for Him Jesus Christ is God. Hebrews 1, 1 through 2, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, through whom also He made the world. Jesus Christ is the name that is above every single name. In Philippians 2, 5 through 10, we see that God the Father has given Jesus a name above all names. So, in Colossians 1, 15 through 20, the Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. Verse 18, And He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything He might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all His fullness dwell in Him, and through Him to reconcile to Himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through His blood shed on the cross. Jesus Christ is the way we can be reconciled to our Father. In Jesus Christ, all the fullness of the Godhead dwells bodily. Jesus Christ is God. We know the order of Melchizedek. Jesus Christ is God's high priest, the King of Salem. So God has always existed. Jesus Christ is God, and He has always existed. He said, before Abraham was, I am. Jesus Christ is God. 